What's up, ladies and gents? It is I, Coloss, and welcome to my hype video <laughs> for the Nintendo Switch. Um, so this is, I think, the third video on the Switch that I've made, and ever since the presentation on January 12th about the Switch, what games are coming out for it, some more um, information about the console itself, I have been so incredibly hyped for this whole entire thing. Um, I don't think I've ever been this excited for a console since probably the original Wii, and that came out in 2006. Like, I still remember watching, like, a guy sitting on the couch and playing Zelda and, like, swinging his arm, and Link swung his sword in the, in the TV, and it was awesome. Um, but just everything about that console made me really excited, and while it kind of had some weak moments towards the end of its lifetime, the overall experience that I had with it was absolutely incredible. And, you know, I, I got to the Wii U party fairly late. I got it in 2014, the very end of 2014, actually. Um, and it does have some really great games, and I've had a lot of fun with the Wii U, and it, it has a special place in my heart. Um, but as, you know, many people know, it had, did have several problems, um, you know, and I'm not going to discuss that here, but um, definitely some things that I think held it back from, from being a fantastic console, even though I felt it was a fantastic console. Um... But with the Switch, it just seems like, you know, I mentioned this in my other video, it just seems like the Switch is the start of a new Nintendo. Um, you know, combining their handheld market with the home console market was, I think, exactly what they needed to do um, <clears throat> in order to get people on board with Nintendo again and to just p get people excited about Nintendo again. I mean, the 3DS has been around for quite some time now, and it's got really great games, like any all the Fire Emblem games that you know have just recently been released in the West. Um, we're getting a new one of that in the May, which is going to be awesome. Um, you know, Super Mario 3D Land, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, um, all the Pokemon games. I mean, come on, that's with with the the hype of Pokemon Go this past summer. I mean, come on, it'd be crazy not to release you know Pokemon. But um, I forgot I was going with with that, but. Um, I think combining both the handheld handheld market and the home console market was just a really great idea for Nintendo. And not only did they combine the two to just make one console, but it's a console that plays really good quality home console games on the go. And you know, that's something that Sony and Microsoft don't have. And don't get me wrong, I have a PS4. Um, I don't have an Xbox One and my PS4 is um, one of the like original PS4s, but um, I, I, I love that system to death. You know, I've got fantastic games on it that I've loved, like all the Uncharted games, Deus Ex, um, Metal Gear Solid Five, The Last Guardian, Watch Dogs, Final Fantasy XV. Oh, my beaten heart, Final Fantasy XV. Um, so it's got fantastic games on there as well, and, and I love the PS4 to death. Um, but like with the talks of the PS4 Pro and Xbox One S and uh, Xbox Scorpio, it seems like in, in recent recent months or just the last year, and, and maybe I just feel this way because I've been like looking up all the Switch news and things like that and it keeps coming up, <clears throat> but it seems like gamers or just people in general seems to focus more on the graphical capabilities and just the hardware specifications of consoles and of course that's important because obviously you know having a powerful system is important to you know have really great games on it but I think we've lost that um, I don't know what the word is but we've lost that desire to just have games because they're fun you know, a lot of people will say, oh, I'm not going to play that game that's trash. Look at the graphics. But the gameplay is really fun, you know? If if graphics really, truly mattered, like everyone says that they do, we wouldn't have games like Shovel Knight, um, Terraria. Um, what's another good one? I can't think. But, like, any of those pixelated, sprite-like kind of kind of games that we've we've been seeing in the, in the, the last several years or two... Um, you know, we wouldn't have those games at all. And I think that's a real testament that, you know, games can not look the best, but still be incredibly, incredibly fun. And I think that, you know, Nintendo has always had that philosophy of, you know, they don't really care so much about the hardware specs, they care about 
the quality of the games that they create. And any gamer, I think, has to realize that and respect that because in an age where you know 4K is becoming the new hot topic and, and all these powerful GPUs and the PC Master Race and crap like that, Nintendo has never been caught up in any of that. And I think it's awesome that they're sticking true to their guns and they're creating a system with just fantastic quality content. Um, it's funny because the, the Switch trailer, like the, the first look trailer for the Switch that they had, um, the song is Ha 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 Yeah, I think, from a band called White Denim. And I actually looked it up and it's really, they're a really cool band actually. Um, but like part of the chorus is be yourself, try to have a good time. And if that isn't the philosophy of... I just spit everywhere. My God. Sorry. Um, be yourself. Try to have a good time. If that is not the philosophy of Nintendo, I don't know what is. Because they've always been themselves. They've always stuck true to themselves. They've never... I mean, some some people could argue that they've you know sold out in some places. I don't know. <laughs> they have sold out before. You know, the Switch pre-orders? Haha. <laughs> but um, anyway... Um, but just be yourself, try to have a good time. That, that definitely relates to Nintendo's uh, motto, I guess, as a whole. Um, they just always do what's best for them, and they, they, don't, they don't care about the console wars at all. They don't care what Microsoft and Sony are doing. They, they care about making fun games for people to play. And again, as I said, as a gamer, I think we all have to realize that and respect that, because in this day and age, that's really a, a concept that not a lot of people... I think really talk about um, so that's what makes Nintendo special in my heart and I absolutely love them so anyway um, so yeah this is a video on my switch hype I'm so excited um, I've already I've got a switch pre-ordered it should be here shortly after launch day um, because I, I pre-ordered from Target and um, it's gonna be coming shortly after that in the mail so that kind of sucks that I don't get it on launch day um, but that's all right, no big deal. Um, and I also pre-ordered um, just the standard edition of Breath of the Wild. Um, like everyone and their mom and their dad, probably, um, I tried to pre-order the Master Edition to no avail. Uh, and then I was trying to look for the Special Edition, also to no avail. Um, and it just wasn't working. And the, really the only reason why I wanted one of those collections is because it came with the soundtrack. And... Uh, you know, I didn't really care about the this Master Sword statue or the coin that comes with it. I don't even know what the heck that is. Um, the carrying case would have been cool, but I saw another one on Amazon. Um, it's like Link's tunic color, that light blue. Um, that looks ex basically the same, so I'll probably just get that at some point down the road. Um, but yeah, I really wanted the soundtrack, so hopefully that can be like a... Uh, like someone will either upload the whole thing to YouTube or you can just buy it separately, but... Um, I pre-ordered this just the standard edition because I noticed that I think on Best Buy that the standard edition actually like sold out of pre-orders and I'm like okay that's really kind of lame <laughs> so I mean it's awesome but I was really just planning on just picking up a game picking up that game when I got my system um, but I was like what well, if that sold out at Best Buy it's, it might sell out somewhere else so I just quickly pre-ordered from GameStop because I had some credit I think left over um, so yeah, I'm going to pick that up March 3rd, even though I won't have the system yet, which really sucks. Um, but that's okay. But yeah, I'm just incredibly hyped for the system. Um, just this year alone for Nintendo Switch games is going to be fantastic. And a lot of people are saying that like, oh, there's not going to be a lot of games at launch. Well, I think if you have Zelda, you're pretty much going to be satisfied. You know, if, if it didn't have Zelda, I would think that it would be a little bit, eh, but Having Zelda is is a big boost to that. I think Bomberman is going to sell well. Um, I think they're going to have some virtual console stuff on there as well on day one, which would be really cool. I've heard some rumors about that. Again, I don't know if that's entirely true, but um, if that is the case, that would be a really great way to bolster um, software sales as well. Um, you know, games like I Am Setsuna is going to be on launch day. Um, all of the... Um, oh, I forget the name. The people, who, the people who made World of Goo, World of Goo um, Little Inferno, and Human Resource Machine Management, Human Resource Machine, I think. Um, I think the Tomorrow Corporation, I think that's the name. Um, those are going to be avail uh, available on launch day. 
Um, so that'll be very cool as well. So there's going to be some games to play on launch day. And I think pretty much everyone is going to you know get Zelda. And I think that's going to be enough for a lot of people. Um, for me, that's definitely going to be enough. Um, I'm probably going to pick up I Am Setsuna at some point too because I, I'm really in an RPG mode. Um, so I'd love to play that too. But aside from like launch, there's going to be some other games in March like Has Been Heroes. Um, Shovel Knight, I think, is going to come out with the Spectre of Torment um, expansion, I guess you would call it. Um, so we're going to have that. Mario Kart's in April. Um, a lot of stuff in the summer. And then just tons of announced games for 2017. So, you know, if we take a look at the Wii U and what games came out in that first year, you know, at launch, there was like, I think, 30 launch games or something. Um, most notable ones being Nintendo Land, which I think was a pack-in for every system. And then New Super Mario Bros. U. And then there was just a bunch of like really kind of ported over third party games um, like Scribble Knots, um, Darksiders 2, I think. Um, you know, just all kind of games like that. And while there was like 30 games, you know, I think, I think in the Wii U's case, there's more of quality over quantity. Or I'm sorry, the Switch's case, there's more quality over quantity. Um, of course, you know, that doesn't necessarily say how successful the system is going to be in the future. But just given the scope of the first year of the Switch and looking at the first year of the Wii U, there's definitely a big difference in games that are going to be announced, or well, that are have already been announced and that are going to come out allegedly, hopefully, this year. Um, and then, of course, in 2018, there's the new Shin Megami Tensei. Uh, a new, brand new, full-fledged Fire Emblem is coming out for the Switch. Um, this year, Fire Emblem Warriors is coming out, which is going to be really awesome. Um, and then Xenoblade 2. Oh my god, Xenoblade 2. I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm currently playing the original Xenoblade on my 3DS, and I'm really hoping that I could finish it before uh, Xenoblade 2 comes out. Um, <clears throat> Xenoblade will probably be like a, a holiday title, maybe, if it if it even makes it <laughs> to that point. They might delay it, which would suck, but um, it would give me more time to finish the first game. Um, even though I don't really think they're connected at all. I, don't, I mean, no one really knows anyway. Um, but I'd still like to finish it. I, I did have X for the Wii U, but I never finished it. Um, I, just, I just did not have enough time. So I'm hoping that with the 3DS, with this game, that I can finish it in, in time for Xenoblade 2. Um, but yeah, there's just, you know, in Square Enix's, um, Project Octopath Traveler, I think, is the same, it sort of looks like it's in the same vein as, like, Bravely Default and Bravely Second. Um, I did play Bravely Default, but I never finished it, and it really sucked, and I don't have it anymore. Um, like, I love RPGs, but I just, I just do not have the patience for a lot of it. Um... But, like, unless it's a game that I really think that I can, I'm really going to enjoy, um, like, with Xenoblade and, like, Final Fantasy XV, um, I definitely think that I can, you know, finish, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm really excited for Xenoblade 2, um, it's just gonna be amazing, but there's just all these games coming out for the Switch that, you know, I think today they mentioned that there's over 100 games in development now. Which is fantastic, and that sort of goes against what I just said about the Wii U having 30 games at launch, and they were all crap, but I really think that Nintendo has learned a lot from the Wii U. You know, I think with the success of the Wii, they got kind of cocky, and, you know, they were saying, oh, well, it's got the Wii name, so people are going to buy it. And obviously that wasn't the case, unfortunately, and they sort of uh, got a little too big for their britches and realized that, hey, this is not working. Um, it's probably a major misstep. You know, I think that Sony actually did that with, you know, the PS2. You know, the PS2 was such an immense success, and, and it was riding high for days. I don't know what that means, but it was extremely successful. And when the PlayStation 3 was coming out, you know, I think they expected that sort of same momentum. And, you know, the $600 price tag was terrible. <laughs> like, everyone hated that, um... They just didn't think that the PS3 was, was really any good. And, and they sort of, you know, uh, rectified that with, like, the PS3 Slim and the price cut and just more powerful games, which is really good. Um, but they took what they learned with the PS3 and they made the PS4 one of the most successful consoles in, I, I think, ever. I could be wrong. I don't really have 
the numbers with me. Um, I'm not a game analyst. I'm just sort of thinking about it. But um, they they learned from their mistake of the PS3, like the horrendous launch of the PS3. And I think Nintendo is doing the same thing with the Switch. They've learned you know what not to do with the Wii U, and they're taking what they learned with that and and applying it to the Switch. So. I truly think the Switch is going to be successful. I don't know if it's going to reach PlayStation 4 numbers or Xbox One numbers, um, but I've watched some other videos and I read an article, I can't remember the name of it, but um, basically that the Switch has more pre-orders now than what the PlayStation 4 sold on launch day, which is a pretty... that's something. Um, that's nothing to scoff at. Um, again, I don't know what those numbers are, and I don't have the name of the article, but I remember reading it somewhere, and I saw some other YouTubers mention that. I think Boogie2988 was the one who mentioned that. Um, so that's definitely a good sign. And, you know, people are buying this thing. They're, they're very excited about it. Um, there are some negative aspects to it that I think a lot of people talk about, but there's definitely a lot of positive things that people are talking about as well. Um, one other quick thing that I found out today was that I guess the... Uh, price for the online service has been revealed. Um, I'll have to see if I can find the source for it and put it in the description um, so you guys can see that. But I think it's from a Japanese... Um, God, I wish I had that right now. Um, a Japanese source, I think. And said it was going to be anywhere from like $20 to $30 a year. <laughs> Which, if that's true, that's a fantastic deal. Now, of course, you're, if you're saying, well, that's really cheap because it's going to suck... Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Um, it doesn't really matter to me because I don't really play online very much. Um, you know, I did play Mario Kart 8 and Splatoon all the time, um, you know, on the Wii U. But honestly, aside from those games, I don't really play online much. Um, so it doesn't really care. I don't really care about that. Um, but if you look at what, you know, Sony and Microsoft are charging for a year, I think it's like 60 bucks, 100 bucks. Again, I don't know. If, I, if that's wrong, I'm sorry, um, but it's I think it's definitely more than, than that amount, so that's really good news, and just everything that we hear about the Switch just seems like Nintendo has learned from the Wii U, um, which is another reason why I'm ex extremely hyped for it, so that's really good. Um, just one other quick thing that I, 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 I want to talk about is that this is like the first hybrid console, and that is something to get really excited about. You know, Nintendo has always had... The Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, the Nintendo DS, DS Lite, the 3DS, and then they had the NES, Super NES, N64, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and now the Switch. So they've always had the handheld market and the home console market, and I think combining the two is just a fantastic move on Nintendo's part because, you know, the 3DS has been very successful. There's been, you know, Fire Emblem, Luigi's Mansion... Pokemon is being huge. I always talk about Luigi's Mansion because I just love it to death, but I don't know if that really sold systems, but I mentioned it anyway. Um, but the 3DS has been immensely successful. And combining Nintendo's home market with the, home, with the handheld market, I think is a really good move. And being able to play a game as massive as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, wherever you go, <laughs> is just a really special, special thing. And I think once people realize that, and, and like the casual gamers and just the mainstream media realize that like you can do that with the system, that's going to be huge. And I think just also today they released um, a Super Bowl commercial for the Switch, and like it shows a guy playing Zelda in bed, and then he like gets up and like puts it on the dock, and then it's on the TV. That's going to blow people's minds for people that don't know you know about the system even if they may not play games they're gonna say that's really cool and really impressive um, <clears throat> so that Super Bowl commercial is gonna be awesome I'm excited to see it on the commercial on during the game uh, and that'll be that'll be great so <sighs> yeah I'm just really excited for the switch I'm I'm just immensely overjoyed and ecstatic and I just feel like a little kid right now it's it's this is a fantastic time to be a nintendo fan and if you've been out of the nintendo game <laughs> no pun intended out of the nintendo game for a while and you want to get back in i think this is the perfect opportunity for you i i have a very good feeling about the switch and i i like i said in the last video i think this is gonna be this is the the new 
a new Nintendo. So I'm very excited. So anyway, let me know let me know what you guys think about the Switch. Are you as hyped as I am? Can you not wait until March 3rd? Today's February 1st. <laughs> I cannot wait another month. Thank God February is the shortest month in the whole entire freaking year. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, but let me know if you guys are excited. Let me know what games you want to pick up. Let me know um, just any of your thoughts on the system. Anything that you're excited for. Um, games that you want to see. Anything like that. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. This is going to be good. This is going to be a good, a good, uh, good console. I, I really feel it. And from what I hear from other people, I think they also feel the same way. Um, Josh Thomas from the BitBlock, he's he's been very vocal about Nintendo, but um, you know he 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 always has really great points. And you know sometimes I may you know cringe a little bit at what he says, but he does make very good points. And he's been feeling very good about the Switch, and he's made really solid predictions about Nintendo in the past, and pretty much all of them have been right. And he's been saying that, like, the Switch is going to be a success. He's, like, he doesn't think it's going to be a, a huge success like the Wii was. Because the Wii was an anomaly. Because that really catered to the casual audience, um, as well as the hardcore gamers. So that was just kind of its own thing. Um, but, you know, he was saying that it's probably going to um, start off very, kind of, strong enough. And then just sort of see a gradual increase in, in sales and things like that. And I, I could see that happening as well. So... Hopefully he's right. Hopefully that happens. Hopefully the Switch is a huge success. He thinks so. I think so. A lot of other YouTubers think so as well. Um, so yeah, it's it's a great time to be a Nintendo fan. So again, let me know what you think about the Switch, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you hope they change, what you hope they keep from other systems. I don't know. Um, games you want to see, games you don't want to see. I don't know why you wouldn't want to say that, but whatever. Um, so yeah, the Switch hype is real. March 3rd, please get here faster. We're all desperately waiting for this stupid console. Um, so yeah, we're all very excited. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and take care.